In a recent study conducted at the University of Horizon, researchers investigated women's preferences for male physique. The study surveyed 500 women, showing them images of men with different body types and asking them to choose which they found most attractive. Remarkably, 90% of the participants preferred men with a muscular build, having veiny arms, tall height and confidence in their body language. So, how to get veiny arms? Well, in this video we will discuss some pro tips to get it, and most importantly, which things you must avoid which you are doing in your daily life. The most important thing which impact your appearance is the amount of fat in your body. If you have less fat in your body, you will look vascular and definitely more attractive. Similar to stomach muscles, veins on the arms and other parts of the body typically start showing when your body fat is 10 to 12%. The key here is to lose fat without losing muscle. The problem with many is that they're too hasty on losing fat that they'll do everything to fast track their progress. This works for weight loss but often results in losing higher proportions of muscle. Considering all this, I suggest you aim to lose 0.5 to 1 pound of total body weight per week during a diet phase. Any faster than that likely indicates that you're losing muscle tissue. Studies shows that stress also contribute to store unwanted fat in our body. Basically, stress is a normal reaction to everyday pressures. However, chronic stress can cause physiological changes in the body, which can lead to weight gain. For some people, gaining weight can further contribute to stress, resulting in a vicious circle. Cortisol is hormone behind the fat storage in our body and it is released when you are under stress for long time period. An excess of cortisol also can lead your body to produce less testosterone. This may cause a decrease in muscle mass, as well as slow down how many calories your body burns. So the first thing which you should practice is to stay calm under pressure in bad circumstances, to get your veins to show more visibly. You want your workouts to focus on toning, not bulking. That means lower weight at a greater volume. For example, instead of curling doing 8 reps of 50 pounds, curl 30 pounds for 40 reps. This will cause you to tone and strengthen the specific area you're targeting. Its reason is simple. Basically, when you use lighter weights and perform higher repetitions, you engage your muscles for a longer duration, which improves muscle endurance and promotes better blood flow. This increased blood flow helps to push your veins closer to the surface of your skin, making them more visible. Grip exercises can also help to get veiny arms. You must have watched many ads of hand grippers. Basically, they improve blood flow in our arms which makes them more vascular. But it's for some time. To get permanent veiny arms you must be consistent, stick to your workout and diet plan, and be patient with the process. The most easiest way to get veiny arms is to hang them down. You can try it now. I'm supposing that you are sitting on the table or a bed. Just hang your arm down and you can see an immediate results. It is happening because when you hand your arm down it increased blood flow in the veins and they start to expand. Do you know why some people use steroids? Basically they want to build their body without passing through the process and they want immediate results for their workout which leads towards severe side effects. Similarly, if you want to build veiny arms, don't try any kind of shortcuts. You must avoid heavy lifting. Lifting excessively heavy weights focuses more on building muscle mass rather than toning and increasing vascularity. It can also increase the risk of injury if not done with proper form. Similar is the case with overtraining. Secondly, a diet high in unhealthy fats, sodium, and sugars can lead to water retention and increase body fat, both of which can obscure your veins. Follow a clean diet rich in lean proteins, healthy fats, and complex carbohydrates. Minimize sodium intake and focus on foods that promote vascular health. Next thing you must avoid is dehydration because not drinking enough water can lead to poor blood circulation and reduce muscle pumps. Dehydration also makes it harder to maintain muscle tone. I have already made a video on foods which are good for muscles and the easiest steps to get taller which you can watch by clicking on these thumbnails.